Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Rams. Kickoff now just moments away. It is finally time to crown a champion as I'll hand it over to the two men who will call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Again, everyone, Brandon Gordon, along with the man who has had to stick with me all season long, Charles Davis. And Charles, the anticipation, the hype, the media coverage, all in the rearview mirror now. We can finally get down to playing some football. Yeah, don't worry about that, partner. I'll ride or die with you anytime. <laughs> you know that. But here's the best thing about this. Everyone talks about trying to keep things normal as they approach for Super Bowl. There is no such thing as normal. The pageantry, the hype, all of that is more intense than anyone could ever imagine. What you're trying to do is embrace it in one way and make sure it doesn't totally knock you off your game. That's why the night before the big one, teams often switch hotels, try and give those guys that last chance to breathe a little bit before they go out and play. Fifty years after Joe Namath and the guarantee, we are underway in Super Bowl 53. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Tom Brady taking the field, surrounded by the rest of the offense for the Patriots. And Tom Brady, now the fourth quarterback all-time with 70,000 or more passing yards. He reached that milestone in that loss to the Steelers week 15. Applause, applause, applause. And it doesn't matter how long Tom Brady plays. He plays at an extremely high level. But I do wonder about he and the team going down the stretch. The Miami Miracle stung them. Mm. Hard-fought loss at Pittsburgh the very next week. They'll be in the playoffs, may have to play an extra game, and they will always be dangerous. But is this the year that they don't have just enough in the tank to get it done? Wait, twenty! Wait, twenty! Sony Michelle, his first carry, and he'll take this up near the thirty-five, maybe the thirty-four. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. You often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Wait, 20! They'll run it here. This is James White. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. And now they're faced with a third and one. As the offensive striders pop up on your screen, Charles, let me ask you, Chris Hogan, what does he bring to this offense? A guy that you look at and really don't circle in your game plan. If there's other guys that you look at, then you realize this guy can do damage. Finds his way open on almost every snap. Now just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Wait, wait. Wait, Throwing now is Brady. And he's got an open man. It's Gronkowski. 
And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Brady to Gronkowski, cover athlete to cover athlete for a Patriot first down. That throw's not going to get them a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. We, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. Brady now on first down. Over the middle, Julian Edelman. It's complete. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Give him nine there on the first down completion. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, you've got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And an alley to run. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. But well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. 20! My 20! On first down, Brady. Got a man complete. It's Chris Hogan. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. They'll run it now out of the gun. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. The Patriots into the red zone for the first time. First and 10 at the 19. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Hey, 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. A chance for the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. Now they'll throw with Brady. As a man, and it's Edelman for the Patriot touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that's the, right? that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. Goskowski the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their quarterback, the guy out of California, the former Cal Bear, Jared Goff. I love this guy's makeup. He is not afraid to fail. He attacks on just about every snap. Wants to throw the football downfield first. He'll throw it short if he has to. But bottom line, he wants to put a lot of pressure on the defense with his arm. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 27. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down, here's gone. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line. Hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Out of the gun, gone. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way.
Charles, for the New England Patriots, one stat that you and I were looking at before the game is kind of interesting. When they lost in weeks 14 and 15, it's the first time they suffered back-to-back -back defeats in December since 2002. So I don't know that they're in trouble as they go toward the playoffs, but not playing their best football. I think that's a great point because you have to go back to 2002 for that to happen. So their level of consistency off the charts. But you're exactly right. They are not playing their best football. And what they're always competing for is one of those opening week buys where they have to play that extra game in the playoffs. It looks like this year they may very well have to play that extra game. But if that's the case, that's not the recipe for getting to the Super Bowl for the New England Patriots. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Keeping it on the ground on first, Michelle. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. On the stop was Aaron Donald. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he takes this down to about the 12 for a gate of three. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Now Brady throwing on second down. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. And Dominican Sue breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. But no takes to start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Working from the gun, it's Brady. 
Going to throw deep for the end zone. And almost intercepted. Would have been a huge pick in the end zone, but as it stands, that brings up fourth. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So now on fourth down, on comes Steven Goskowski to try and get the pass three. This from 36 yards out. And Goskowski's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10-zip. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 24. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. And the big meet on the D line. We'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Now on second down, this is Gurley. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. An extra corner on the field for New England here on third down. Yeah, another DB. From the gun, here's gone. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that's caught inside the 30. And yeah, he gets this deep into Patriot territory. It's a big conversion there for the Rams on third down. 58 yards. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. So one quarter down here in the Super Bowl. Plenty of scoring here already. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company.
Back live now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Rams with a football to get us going. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. Shotgun snap for goal. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Tyler Higby from 13 yards out. And the Rams are able to get back with it a touchdown. Such an art to dot the I. Just get the feet in right there against the line before going out of bounds. Such an incredibly graceful athletic play but also a lot of practice goes into it. They work on that to make sure that they learn how to train their feet to get down in bounds. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. A drive there of just four plays, and it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Zerline out now to kick this one away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Offense marching back onto the field, and our focus shifts here to Sony Michelle. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who've been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys <laughs> on the other side of the football, and they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 right at the 30. Throwing on first down is Brady. And he's got Edelman on the out route. That's complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And finding Edelman underneath, that's a recipe for success. Typical route for a good slot receiver. And Edelman's one of the best in the game. Knows how to go inside what go, one of my go. college coaches used to call the briar patch. Got to go in there where it's tough and make those tough catches. And not only can he do it, he can often run away from people after the catch. On second down, Michelle. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Set. 
Right back to him on first down. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Here's Brady. They're able to find Dorsett. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On play action, it's Brady. Oh, wide open, complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Give him 30 yards there. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Wow, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. Think he gunned down a few guys? Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Into the red zone, it's Brady. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. It is tough to complete passes against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against his own before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. They'll turn to Michelle as they go back to the ground. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. New England on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and nine. From the gun, it's Brady. decision there no one open he just throws it away and that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down and I feel like my man old Mo momentum might be changing jerseys right now how about what they just got done they scored a touchdown their last drive now here's a three and out maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline Koski's kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 
So the field goal there counts what winds up to be an 11 play drive. Well, Carter, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find one to get you into the end zone, get you six? Koskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Well, Charles, help me break down the Rams here as we get to the home stretch of the season because they still have one of the best records in the NFL. But after that wild Monday night win over KC on November 19th, haven't looked as sharp. And sometimes when you have a streak that they carry around and they're playing at such a high level offensively, any dip looks like the worst dip in the world. But they have had their struggles. Quarterback Jared Goff, his quarterback rating at Chicago and then again against Philadelphia in Week 15, definitely took a hit. They have not been the team we have seen before. And teams have figured out a little bit of a formula to make it harder on them offensively but I wouldn't put it past head coach Sean McVay to get it figured out and get that team back on track. Because once they hit the playoffs, I still think they'll be a team that no one really wants to play. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half, maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. They go play action with Gurley. Now golf. And oh, look at that. A diving catch. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. When the spotlight is at its brightest, and let's face it, it's the Super Bowl, those types of plays come out, don't they? Absolutely. A big-time catch on the biggest of stages. Do you think that that one's going to live on? We're going to see this for a long Definitely time. Definitely going to live on forever with him, that's oh, for sure. No doubt. First down, gone. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was in search of his tight end, Tyler Higby, and it's second down. I do want to take this time to mention that the next few months, very big in the competitive Madden Championship Series. A few weeks ago, we saw Skimbo go back to back. That's and... right, back to back, second straight year. Wait. You're fired up. And then next up, the Madden Challenge, and it's a $190,000 prize pool, and the ladders to qualify for that tournament now available in Mutt Draft Mode. Exciting things. By the way, what would your... Wait, you have a gamer tag, Joe? No, I do not have a gamer tag. You must be a good player in order to earn a moniker. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Right side complete. That's Woods. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Back deep for New England, Julian Edelman. and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 16. My 20. My 20. My 20. 
They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, here's Brady. Going to air it out deep for Gronk. They got his man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. An excellent pick up of 34 yards. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, he finds big 87. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Brady now on first down. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That goes for a gain of 31. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Wait, 20! Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. The wideout, Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Throwing again, Brady, and this is complete, it's Allen, and here he'll get it down to the seven. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back on Super Bowl Sunday after this. A reminder, coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Right, New England on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This time they face a third and two. Brady to throw again. This is caught. Gronkowski. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Again, it's Brady. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. James White from three yards out. And the Patriots add six to their lead. And he just did get those feet in there on the side of the end zone. Well done. Probably the exact size foot necessary because I think if he had another half size, that, that catch doesn't count. And he's able to get it in, and it counts for a touchdown. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. To review the play, the ruling on the field stands. 
They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for, and this touchdown will count. The point after try for Goskowski. Goskowski with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Goskowski now out to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Getting set to go again here, Robert Woods marches back onto the field. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us, but sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. First and ten, golf. That's into the hands of Reynolds. A gain of 32 that time. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Goff on first down. We got a man over the middle. It's Woods. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now gone. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Woods. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half.
First down throw, gone. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And down inside the 15 he goes. 11 more on that one and another first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Goff in the offense with a first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. From the red zone now, Goff. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Chung. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. Clock at 20 seconds to go in the half as they come up first and 10. This drive starts out on the ground with Michelle. And he'll get this up only to about the 22. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. From the 22, here's second and eight. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season from beginning to end. And now we'll play one half of football to decide who raises the Lombardi Trophy. And for the call, let's get it right back to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The halftime show, quite a spectacle, but it's back to football for the second half of Super Bowl 53. This will be taken in at the one. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Getting set to go again here on offense, Jared Goff trots back onto the field. And he's had some time to chew on that interception he threw on his last drive back in the first half. Well, normally we say, you want to get him right back out on the field and play again, right? But as you mentioned, had the halftime, had to stew about it a little bit. Maybe he'll have a chance to relax a little and kind of laugh and chuckle and let it go. He'll hope to respond positively here to start the third quarter. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 27. Golf now looking to throw. Now left, he's got it to Everett. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A gain of six there on first. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Here 
Goff. Over the middle complete. That's Woods. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Goff hitting Woods for a Rams first. Goff now hitting on two-thirds of his passes, 10 for 15 so far, first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing, but with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. six-yard line. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun on third down, gone. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. And they get 10 yards there and convert on third. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe you change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. On second down, here's Goff. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw ten interceptions in a row. I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. A shotgun snap for gone. And this is going to be incomplete. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Now it's Zerline to try the Ram field goal. This officially a 55-yard attempt. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and this score will stay right where it is. Mm. It looked good when it left his foot, but he kind of sliced it a little bit, and he winds up missing it wide right.
Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put away drive. Is they, they score here, especially a touchdown, it's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? The drive starts with a run by White, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now now Brady throwing on second down throwing left side he's got broke complete and all the way in touchdown New England Rob Gronkowski, 49 yards, and the Patriots add on to their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. So now Brady and the Patriots going for two. Shotgun now for Brady. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Getting set to go again here. Robert Woods marches back onto the field. He's hoping to take what has been a good game here and make it a great game. It's so far, solid, and we're, and we're still in the third quarter. And there's nothing wrong with solid. You want to be that. You want to be reliable. You want to be a guy that puts your team in a position to have a chance to win. And that's what we're seeing from him. And there's also that added element that maybe it can become a little bit more as this game goes on. He'll try to make it more here on this drive. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 24. From the gun, here's Golf. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Gone, gone. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's gone. This is caught. It's Cooks. 
And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Well, they go with a slant that time, 15 yards at a first down. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for it, but not too long to hit them on the quick slant. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. Goff now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got to just pin their ears back and get after him now. On the draw, Goff gives to Gurley. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Dante Hightower on the stop. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The Rams on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and four. Here's Goff. And got him in. It's Woods. Goff to Woods as the Rams move the chains. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Goff on first down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. A gain of six there on first. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now whistles and a flag down. I think one of the Rams linemen might have moved. False start, offense. And that'll set him back five. Still second down. The false start hurts him there a bit. Backs him up to second and nine. Now it's gone. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Off in the offense with a first and ten. And he's five for six now throwing the ball on this drive. Hey, hey, hey. Got three. Got three left. They go play action with Gurley. Now Goff. And this is caught at the eight. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in and picks up the first down.
To the air again. Gone. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. The veteran Jason McCourty there to make sure that one didn't find its target. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Goff throwing again. And his pass incomplete. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now, what do you think they're going to try and dial up up third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Now Goff on third and goal. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does. And I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within this, uh, the right amount of time, it would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 24. Wait, 20! Now after the fumble recovery, it's Brady. He's going to air it out for Dorsett. That's caught inside the 20. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Philip Dorsett, 76 yards. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Charles, there aren't really any slow receivers, but there's fast and then really fast. He's really fast, and he showed off the afterburners there. And that he is because when he took off, I was thinking there's no chance that he can actually reach him with that pass. Yet he did, and he's still sprinting. And just think about what that does for everyone else on his team because his ability to stretch a field opens things up for the rest of the receivers on the team. Goskowski for the point after. Extra point good by Goskowski. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, a long touchdown pass into the end zone. Goskowski now out to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on E. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Golf. Now they go screen. It's complete. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. 
Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer, I think in this situation, you're either throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. Wide open receiver complete. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. The Rams on third down. They've hit four of seven. This time it's third and three. Now whistles and a flag down. I think one of the Rams linemen might have moved. False start, offense. That was a third and somewhat manageable now, not so manageable. Exactly, because you down. had a play call on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, you got to start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. Now, after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. We got three. We got 180. To throw is gone. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down, L.A. Golf finding Higby. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. On first down, gone. And that's complete to Cooks. The completion good for three, and it's second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. First down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Alert. Cut. Black 20. Black 20. Cut. Cut. Now whistles and a flag down. I think one of the Rams linemen might have moved. False start. Offense. That's going to set him back five yards. Still second down. That false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Throwing again is gone. Dumps it off to Gurley. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. A gain of four on the play. And that'll bring up a third down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Rams on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and eight. Again, golf. And the incompletion there. So that breaks a string of five straight hookups. It also leads to a fourth down. The veteran Stephon Gilmore able to break that one up. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. 
And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. Well, this ball game certainly has gotten a little out of hand. This is normally when they say you got to fill. This is fill time for guys like you and I. But you know, to be frank, just a dominating performance. Really impressive what we've seen. It is, and I'm glad that you went in that direction because otherwise we're going to talk about the museum tour we took yesterday. Which was also impressive. Which was also very yeah. impressive. But this game, how they've done it, offense, defense, special teams. They put it all together, and I can tell you, I am beyond impressed by what I've seen from this team. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. They lost two there, and it's third down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. New England on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and seven. To throw, it's Brady. This is White on the screen. Oh, he sheds himself free. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. to mark him down at the 39. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They go play action here on first down. Gronkowski's got it on the crossing route. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. A gain of six there on first. That's a good-looking play to me. The big tight end on a crossing route coming underneath. Sometimes he can gain some serious momentum going forward, can he? Yeah, he can indeed, and pretty well executed there. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. On the handoff, it's Michelle. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! They'll run it now out of the gun, and he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Here's Ryan Allen now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. The 
here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And he was very fortunate there to get out of his end zone. He maybe got back to the two-yard line. No gain on the play there. Second down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away, and they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The Rams on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and ten. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But the bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. And now Edelman. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Patriots take over. Offense marching back onto the field, and our focus shifts here to Sony Michelle. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went in at halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half, it gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. They begin with Michelle on the ground, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Time for a break. We're back to crown a champion after this. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Again, it's Michelle. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. New England on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and eight. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Here's Ryan Allen now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just 
One last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here <laughs> and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. On first and ten, Goff. He'll throw underneath for Gurley. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. A shotgun snap for gone. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On first down, it's gone. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. He was looking for Todd Gurley. That'll bring up second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. On second and 10, gone. They got a man over the middle, it's Woods. Now with everything here, we're gonna get a timeout by the offense. As they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now a first down throw, gone. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Adrian Claiborne in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. And it's another Super Bowl title for the New England Patriots. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs, you see the guys sharing, the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them, a fantastic season.